Morning Prayer for Monday the 6th of September O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, Creator God, to you be glory and praise for ever. Your Spirit moved over the face of the waters to bring light and life to your creation. Pour out your Spirit on us this day, that we may walk as children of light, and by your grace reveal your presence, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Our first reading is from the Book of Wisdom. And it's interesting that this book was written as a message of encouragement and exhortation for Jews living somewhere in the diaspora, the Jewish communities outside the land of Israel, during the Greco-Roman era, immersed in a cosmopolitan pagan culture, one that generally viewed Judaism with suspicion, if, suspicion, if not contempt, Many Jews felt hard-pressed to remain loyal to the basic principles and practices of their faith. And um, this was written about the time of the life of Jesus. And the uh, uh, author is anonymous, anonymous Hellenistic Jew, probably writing in Alexandria. So I find that interesting to place that alongside our New Testament readings. And understanding. So here are some verses from chapter 1 of Wisdom. Love righteousness, you rulers of the earth. Think of the Lord in goodness and seek him with sincerity of heart, because he is found by those who do not put him to the test and manifests himself to those who do not distrust him. For perverse thoughts separate people from God, and when God's power is tested, it exposes the foolish, because wisdom will not enter a deceitful soul or dwell in a body enslaved to sin. For a holy and disciplined spirit will flee from deceit and will leave foolish thoughts behind and will be ashamed at the approach of unrighteousness. The Spirit of the Lord has filled the world, and that which holds all things together knows what is said. Therefore those who utter unrighteous things will not escape notice, and justice will not pass them by. Beware then of useless grumbling, and keep your tongue from slander, because no secret word is without result, and a lying mouth destroys the soul. Do not invite deadness by the error of your life, or bring on destruction by the works of your hands, because God did not make deadness, and he does not delight in the deadness of the living, for he created all things so that they might exist, the generative forces of the world are wholesome and there is no destructive poison in them and the dominion of Hades is not on earth for righteousness is immortal. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people and kindle in us the fire of your love. All who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God and fellow heirs with Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people. Renew the face of your creation, Lord, pouring on us the gifts of your Spirit and kindle in us the fire of your love. 
for the creation waits with eager longing for the glorious liberty of the children of God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people and kindle in us the fire of your love. The Gospel readings this week are from Mark. So I'm reading from chapter 9. Jesus and his disciples came to Capernaum. When he was safe at home, he asked them, What were you discussing on the road? The silence was deafening. They'd been arguing with one another over who among them was greatest. He sat down and summoned the twelve. So you want first place? Then take the last place, be the servant of all. He put a child in the middle of the room and then cradling the little one in his arms, he said, whoever welcomes one of these children as I do, welcomes me and far more than me, God who sent me. John spoke up. Teacher, we saw a man using your name to expel demons and we stopped him because he wasn't in our group. Jesus wasn't pleased. Don't stop him. No one can use my name and do something good and powerful and in the next breath cut me down. If he's not an enemy, he's an ally. Why? Anyone, by just giving you a cup of water in my name, is on our side. Count on it that God will notice. On the other hand, if you give one of these simple childlike believers a hard time, bullying or taking advantage of their simple trust, you'll soon wish you hadn't. You'd be better off dropped in the middle of the lake with a millstone round your neck. Everyone's going through a refining fire sooner or later, but you'll be well preserved, protected from the eternal flames. Be preservatives yourself. Preserve the peace. Let us pray. As schools and colleges um, go back, we pray for children of all ages and young people and for teachers. Children you may know or watch walking past your house, waiting at the bus stop. And we have from our readings that image of Jesus cherishing a child. So let us pray for any children we know of today. And especially those who are anxious, who feel bullied, on whom a parent is projecting anxiety. And from the Book of Wisdom, that book written for Jews in the diaspora, so in a place where they're surrounded by others who do not share their faith, we particularly pray for teenagers and students going back to college or university, especially those who have a faith tradition, that they may not feel alone, that they may find others with whom they may share fellowship, that they may not feel mocked for their faith. We pray for Christian teachers, for Christian chaplains in schools and colleges, for those who nurture the faith of others, particularly of young people and children. And our collect for today 
eternal God and Father, you create us by your power and redeem us by your love. Guide and strengthen us by your Spirit that we may give ourselves in love and service to one another and to you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Being made one by the power of the Spirit, let us pray as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And a P.S. The last verse I read from the Gospel, this is in um, the version called The Message, be preservatives yourselves, preserve the peace. And we've just read, preserve us from all evil. If at this time of year you're making preserves, jams and chutneys, just keep that little phrase, preserve, be preservatives yourselves, preserve the peace. Amen. Oh,